Okay, so uh, welcome to today's video. Today I will be uh, doing a uh, video on um I will be doing a video on Slimjet browser. So uh, you might have heard of this browser. Uh, it's not that well known though. But uh, I have mixed feelings about this browser. As you can see, it's very cluttered looking. Uh, so let's get into the uh, kind of video. And uh, we'll talk about like the pros and cons of this browser. And all sorts. So uh, let's get into it. So, uh, I'll show you, uh, so as you can see, there's, uh, what do you call it again, a lot of sponsored stuff on the, uh, start page. They call them speed, uh, dial. But, uh, as you can see, they have, uh, referral, uh, codes on the end of the URLs, which I found pretty dodgy. Uh, it doesn't show you it. Uh, sometimes it doesn't show you it, but it shows you it in this case. Uh, but it tries to make you use this weird search engine. Uh, hello? Oh yeah, and it will show hello. And uh, the search engine is very strange, let's just say. Uh, so let's say I search up Sandro Linux. Does my thing come up? There's like a million ads before you get to the actual stuff. And then if some reason that puts this is the first result, not my website, I don't know what this is. Uh, there's a lot of weird, uh, there's lots of ads. And as you can see, it redirects through the Google surface. So clearly it's using some sort of Google uh, API or something. So uh, this just looks very spammy. And uh, overall, this web browser feels very spammy. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in it. Some, uh, all sorts of stuff you don't need. It's a bit jam-packed. Uh, it has all this stuff, a bit overwhelming. Uh, you can save as a PDF, save as a screenshot. There's some good features in here. There's ad block, so I can enable ad block. Uh, I can get more extensions from the Chrome Web Store. I can do all these uh, nice things, and uh, yeah, and also settings. Uh, settings is uh, pretty good. Uh, like they have a lot of options and stuff, so you can do stuff like prevent uh, cross-domain HTTP referrer, uh, disable WebRTC. Uh, disable ads on third party websites, block JavaScript on uh, that drop, uh, block social media sites, JavaScript on other third party sites. So, these are some great features, but uh, I just don't like the fact that they have all this garbage uh, here. So, as you can see, this is apparently so this is uh. This is what the browser is like. It looks very white. Uh, it things don't contrast well with it. Uh, and yeah, it just seems like there's a lot of ads in this browser. It looks a bit out of date. It looks slightly dodgy, actually, uh, in many ways. Uh, so it's pretty good in some ways, as you can see here. It gives a lot of reasons why you might use it. Uh, you know, it gives you quotes. Uh, I switched to Slimjet because uh, Chrome, because Chrome has back doors and stuff. You know, uh, but overall, I think this interface is pretty crowded. You can sign in with Google if you want to. Uh, yeah, you can use the Turbo Charge Download Manager. Uh, let's see the other stuff. So you can change the search engine to something you actually want. Slimjet search is pretty terrible, so I wouldn't uh, recommend it. Uh, so yeah. So when I open up here, 
Oh, I'm going to see if I can apply a chrome theme to make this look a bit nicer. Because currently it looks like a uh, garbage. Uh, why don't we take this one? That's nice. Checking. Oh, there we are. So that looks a bit nicer now. So you have to do a few of these tweaks and stuff. Also, they have a partnership with a VPN company for some reason. Uh, this is a very strange browser in many ways. Uh, there's like a million weird things about it. Uh, clearly it's been purposefully built to be very cluttered. Uh, I don't really like it, but hey, uh, whatever floats your boat, really. Uh, but, uh, let's say I want to get rid of this. There we are, so I can get rid of the bar... I can uh, probably get a better new tab page. If uh, I'm just going to try and dismiss all of these. But uh, as you can see, there's a lot here. Uh, Facebook for some reason. Gmail with the old icon. YouTube with the old icon. Netflix with the old icon. Other stuff. Other stuff. Other stuff I don't need. More stuff I don't need. And uh, it just looks cluttered overall. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, I'll say I'm in Afghanistan. Why not? Flip. Yes, yes. I'm in uh, some random place. But I don't have postcodes here. Or, yeah, so. That's a uh, cool, cool, cool. So they have a community, uh, overall this browser looks alright, I might get a new new tab page for it. Uh, let's say I get a nice new tab page. I'm basically fixing up the browser right here. New tab theme. Let's just use this one, I don't know what it is. Oh uh, look, so this is a much nicer thing. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I've got it into a workable state. Uh, everything looks alright here. Uh, let's see if the ad block is working, why don't we? MSN. MSN is the best test to whether an ad block is working. Butterflies. Oh, yeah, you don't care about my privacy. Uh, yeah, I confirm I don't like any of those. Uh, so, as you can see here, there's no ads. As I can see, yeah. Uh, let's say I go to the ESF website and I go to the... Uh, Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so here's cover your track. So I'm going to use this just to see how good the protection is. With only a few uh, fixes up. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is a good test. A uh, good sign it's blocking ads, it's blocking track, as it isn't blocking finger pointing now. But finger pointing is very hard to block, so uh, yeah. But that's a uh, cool, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so this is all good and uh, fine. Uh, so yeah. So overall, I think this is an all right browser. You know, overall, it's good, but. Uh, it's a bit cluttered, it's a bit weird in many ways, I'm not sure if I can trust it, it's a bit, yeah, it's strange in that manner, uh, so I won't totally trust it, I might not use it, but if you want to, you can use it, just don't use Slim Jet Search, because it's absolute, like, trash, it has five ads before you can see anything, uh, so yeah, but, uh, that's, uh, cool, I guess, uh, yeah. So let's see if there's anything else. 
they can of course uh, increase you can uh, change your DNS provider I haven't used Chrome in such a long time I'm not sure if all of these are things that are already built into Chrome but I know that disabling WebRTC is not uh, but yeah so that's uh, cool so uh, I'll see you in the next one uh, stay happy everyone stay healthy stay everything and uh, I'll see you in the next one.